today i am going to start a new geography lesson for grade 7 students that is the second lesson of your textbook on identity of sri lanka before study the identity of sri lanka let me explain what is identity any individual in the society has his or her own identity based on the features and character. For an example, you all are not same. You are differ from each other. You have different names and you are physically differ from others. Similarly, a country too has a specific identity. The main objective of this lesson is to study the identity of Sri Lanka under two main categories. They are geographical identity and social identity. Under geographical identity, we have to study the following areas. The location of Sri Lanka, relative location, specific location, the area of Sri Lanka, sea limit zones of Sri Lanka, topographical features, rainfall, nature of the plants. Here you can see the location of Sri Lanka on a world map. Sri Lanka is located near the equator in the tropical zone between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. This zero degree latitude is the equator. This is the Tropic of Cancer. This is the Tropic of Capricorn. This orange colored area is the tropical zone and Sri Lanka is located here in the tropical zone. Accordingly, Sri Lanka is located within the east longitudes in the northern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere is the upper part from the equator. This is the equator. This upper part is the northern hemisphere. Eastern longitudes belong to the right hand side from the zero degree longitude. This is the zero degree longitude and this is the right hand side from the zero degree longitude. Sri Lanka is separated from India by a narrow strip of sea known as the Pork Strait. This is the Pork Strait. Relative location Showing the location of a country based on lands and oceans in its immediate surroundings is called relative location. The island of Sri Lanka is located in the Indian Ocean closer to the Indian subcontinent. Further, the Asian continent is located north of Sri Lanka. The Indian Ocean is located south of Sri Lanka. The African continent is located west of Sri Lanka. The Southeast Asian countries are located east of Sri Lanka. Specific location. Showing the location of a country with reference to longitudes and latitudes is called the specific location. This given map shows the northern latitudes and the eastern longitudes. Accordingly, it is clear that Sri Lanka is located between 5 degrees 55 points and 9 degrees 51 points north latitudes and 79 degrees 41 points 
and 81 degrees 53 points east longitudes. The area of Sri Lanka. When considering the area of Sri Lanka, the length from Point Pedro to Dondra Head is 432 kilometers. The width from Colombo to Sangamankand Point is 224 kilometers. The total area of Sri Lanka is 65,610 square kilometers. Let's study about the sea limit zones of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka has an identical boundary and a territorial sea limit. Territorial sea limit includes a limit of 12 nautical miles from the coast. All the coastal states were granted the ownership of a territorial sea limit. It came into effect from 16th November 1994 according to the International Convention of the Sea. This is the territorial sea limit. It goes for 12 nautical miles from the coast. This is the contagious zone. It goes for 24 nautical miles from the territorial sea limit. This is the exclusive economic zone and pollution prevention zone. It is located beyond the contagious zone up to 200 nautical miles. Topographical features. Although Sri Lanka is a small island, it has distinct relief features. The three main relief zones in Sri Lanka are the central hills, intermediate plains and the coastal plain. These relief zones consist of complex relief features which are different from each other. Using this map, you can study about the relief zones of Sri Lanka. This orange colored area is the central hills. This yellow colored area shows the intermediate plains. This green colored area shows the coastal plain. Mountain ranges, plateaus, valleys, waterfalls, gaps are the relief features in central hills. Plains, ridges, residual hills are the relief features of intermediate plain. Broad plains, bays, lagoons, points and islands are the relief features of coastal plain. Let's look at some examples of these relief features. Examples for mountain ranges: Knuckles, Pidrutalagala, Namunukula. Plateaus. Plateau is a flat land area located at a high elevation. Examples Candy Plateau, Valley Mada Plateau. Valleys Valley is a low area of land between hills or mountains, typically with a river or stream flowing through it. Waterfalls Examples are Dunghindella, Ravana Ella. Gaps or passes. Gap is a narrow opening between mountain peaks. Example, Balana Gap. Intermediate Plain. Plains. Plain is a flat land area. Ridges. Ridge is a chain of mountains or hills that form a continuous elevated crest for some distance. Residual hills. Examples for residual hills. Mihintalaya, Sigiriya rock. Coastal plain. Broad plains. Bays. Examples for bays. Koddiyar Bay, Arugam Bay. Lagoons. Examples. Nigambo, Jaffna, Puttalam, Chilav, Batiklo. Points. 
examples Dondrahed, Point Pedro. Islands, examples Mana, Delft. This picture shows a valley. This is the valley area. This picture shows a gap. This is the gap. This picture also shows a gap. This is a mountain ridge. This is the ridge. Rainfall. Sri Lanka is a country located in the tropical zone. Sri Lanka has a higher temperature about 27 Celsius degrees to 30 Celsius degrees. Sri Lanka receives a uniform rainfall throughout the year. The rain comes in three ways. Monsoon rain, convectional rain and cyclones. This picture shows the two monsoons. The periodical winds blowing into the country from the directions of southwest and northeast are called monsoons. Southwest monsoon rain is received during the months of May, June and July. Western and southwestern parts of Sri Lanka receive heavy rain from this rain. Northeast monsoon rain is received during the months of November, December and January. Northern and eastern parts of Sri Lanka receive heavy rain from this rain. Nature of the plants grown in different regions in Sri Lanka. Tall trees are grown in the forests which are distributed in wet areas due to the uniform heavy rainfall and the temperature that prevails throughout the year. Examples Singharaja forest. Trees with less height can be seen in the mountain forest. Mountain forest can be seen in Vilpattu, Udavalava, Vasgamua area. Grasslands and Patanas can be seen close to the plateaus and short trees grow there due to the changes in the rainfall temperature as well as the altitude examples horton plains ambevela thorny bushes and shrubs grow in the dry and semi arid areas where a dry climate exists example Mana and the surrounding areas located in the northwestern part as well as in Hambantota area located in the southwestern part of Sri Lanka. Mangroves are spread close to coastal lagoons and river mouths. Examples Kalamatiya, Boondala and Mudrajavela. A tourist traveling to the interior of the country from a coastal area of Sri Lanka can see the variation of relief, climate and the vegetation cover and experience the beauty of this country within a distance of 70 kilometers. Children, now we have covered all the relevant parts of the geographical identity of Sri Lanka. So now you can complete the activities in page number 13, 14, 16 and 18. My dear children, that's all for today. Let's meet again. Have a nice day. Thank you.